I was majoring in dendrology and girls, failing both. So, when my hated roommate burst in from English class, slammed down his book bag, and declared, Poetry is stupid. It does nothing for the world. I knew I'd found my calling. One glance at his composition scrawled and read like a field at Malden. I smirked and hit the stacks, came back loaded down. Milton, Dickinson, Auden, Rich. He whined for days, calling the teacher idiot, bitch, recounting his unbroken string of high school A's. Où sont les neiges d'Anton? I despised his loafers, Izod shirts, smooth persuasion of hair, and envied with a numbing ache the queue of beauties he ushered in, cueing me with a nod to beat it. I'd slump off to the student union, pour through howl, Homeric hymns, repeating the mantra beneath my breath, poetry is stupid. Second term, I traded Penis Niagara for Robert Frost, Catalpa Speciosa for Sexton and Plath, and slowly as Middle Pennsylvania thawed, the notebooks filled. Tonight, I lose my birth weight and sweat alone. Sip the matter of my fall and rye, chew the cattle's flesh, and spin like a spider the lace of verse. The jerk hated recitation. Cut that shit, he'd snap from his annexed two-thirds of our space. Rumor has it he made a killing in the dot-com boom. They say he even clanged the bell one morning at the stock market. In my mind's eye, though, I place him in a smaller scene, purchasing a birthday gift for his wife, the third. He browses down the wrong aisle of a Barnes & Noble, and, spotting my name along one spine, double takes and says out loud, Hey, I roomed with that hand job freshman year. Cracks the slender volume, peruses until he finds the poem, this poem, dedicated to none other but him, my adversary, my antonym, my unfirth, my muse. <laughs>